Studio at Home. Hey everyone, my name is Danny Smith and I am an art instructor at Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art. Today I am going to be showing you how to make a really cool project at home using some of the materials that you have. The project is inspired by an artist in our collection named Joan Mitchell. You can learn more about this artist by clicking the link below. You can pause this video or scroll back to any step if you need to. The project I'll be doing today is a type of paper marbling with materials and items that you can find in your house. The materials you will need are tin foil, paper towels, food coloring, you can use any color you want, I just had neon on hand, a knife or any kind of swirling material, so like a toothpick or you can use your finger if you want. Next is paper. Um, any kind of paper will work. If you use watercolor paper, Bristol paper, drawing paper, it all works great. I have found though that the heavier the paper, the better. And last but not least, the most important tool for today are shaving cream. I have found that foam shaving cream is the best, just the cheapest too. You can also, if you're working with little ones, use Cool Whip or whipped cream, so if it gets into their mouth, you don't have to worry about it. All right, so the first step is to take your shaving cream and just spray it on your tray here. You don't need a whole lot, just a little bit. Next, you're gonna kind of spread out your whipped cream just so there's enough for your paper. And you can always take your paper here. And just So I have a little tiny piece, for example. Make sure it gets the whole paper. Continue to spread it out to your liking and then put your knife off to the side. For this next step, I would pick one to two colors. You can do as many as you want, but the more colors that you do use, the more likely it will blend and become a brown. So we don't want to do that. So I've got a pink or a red. I'm not quite sure what this neon color is. <laughs> and just do a couple drops. You don't need a whole lot. And then I'm going to try a blue. So let's do a dot here and a dot here. With your knife or swirling utensil, just kind of start to make really cool. Ooh, this is a red. Good. It's going to be very patriotic. Just make some swirls. Don't mix it too much because if you mix it too much, you won't get the marbled effect. Put your knife down and grab yourself a piece of paper. So I'm going to just use this little one. And I'm going to smush it just like that. You don't have to smush it all the way down. Little kids seem to really love to <laughs> get it everywhere. That's up to you if you want to do that. And then you'll peel it off just like that. With some of those paper towels, just grab a paper towel, grab it, and take your stirring stick and kind of wipe it clean because you're going to use that to help you scrape off your shaving cream. All right, here's your knife. What you're going to do next is you're going to scrape off all of that shaving cream. Oh, look at that! That's so beautiful! And you just wipe it off to the side. Just make sure all that shaving cream is gone. Oh, look at that! That turned out so nice! There's so many different ways to use your paper marble sheets once you're done. For example, here's my sheet right here. And what you can do is you can fold it in half and turn it into a card, which I absolutely love. You can write someone a note. Whatever you choose to do with your paper marble sheets, I know it'll be great. Thank you so much for tuning in with Crystal Bridges today, and I hope to see you next time.